Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Oh man, you know what's the only thing that could be better than this episode of Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations? Tyrannosaurus in F14! <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Nor was Welcome I. Back. I came up with it on the spot. We're continuing Bridge to the Turnabout. We're still on the Part 3 2 investigation. Yeah, we're still on the investigation. It's been great. Yeah, uh, we're, just we are going to. Know to more. We're going to finish this up in this recording session. Might be two videos. Don't know. Yeah. It'll all depend on how long this yeah. is. But it's going to just get longer if we... <laughs> right, so we this. just figured out... Make sure you watch these videos in order, kids and people. We, we uh, just found we out just that found Godot out... used to be a woman? No. And, like, <laughs> no, I'm no. kidding. <laughs> no, we figured out we had... Pearl and Iris are related. Iris has a twin. We don't know her. Maybe we do. I think we do. I think it's Dahlia. <laughs> and she's a creeper. Um, and then we've got um, Pearl's like, I'm not going to talk about something. It, it's like, oh, don't you know Iris's twin sister, Adrian Andrews? <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> no, they're like, um, <laughs> twins. Anyhow, we're going to the courtyard again. Maybe they're like Irish twins. And that's why it works. That's like gotta that. be offensive. No, that's not. Irish twins. That's when you and your sibling are within a year of each other born. That's still got to be offensive. Like Siamese twins. I don't think it is. I've heard it used frequently. Anyway. I mean, okay. February 9th. If, if, it, if that term is offensive, any Irish people who are Hazakura watching, Temple please let us know. And courtyard. we will not use it in the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Somebody... Sounds like some... all I can think of now is when we were watching that video, and anytime someone has the dot dot dot, it's just them throwing up. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's now all I can think of. Sounds like someone's happy. What tune is that they're humming? Oh, for a sec, I was like, oh. he comes back. No motive, no crime. No motive, no crime. Seen with me. No motive, no crime. I remember when we used to search in the chilling room in Crane. <laughs> Whoop! I love my job. Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating's all about. The investigator investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. Good cases we have, good cases we've lost along the way. <laughs> I don't know the tune for that. That's fine. I would never have guessed that Gumshoe was into reggae. Oh, it's reggae? Every, Every case, case is, is going to be, be airtight. <laughs> Every case is going to be airtight. <laughs> hey, pal. Huh? Who, me? How long have you been there? <laughs> I just got here. Oh, okay. So what are you up to, detective? I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find the real murder weapon. The real murder weapon. That barbed sword thing turned out to be a false lead, right? Right. I'm giving it my best shot here, but I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. Put them together! It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. Maybe it's something that Pearl wrote to Miss Donut, and she's like, Sorry, I'm gonna go hang out with Maya. <laughs> I thought you said Miss Donut for a second. Miss Donut! <laughs> it's, like the don it's the Donut Man's wife, or mom, I don't know. So how's the investigation going, Detective Gumshoe? I don't know if I should be telling you, pal, but I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place in the Inner Temple Garden. And they're taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. Of course they are. What?! You mean... Why, what is it with everyone writing Maya's name in blood? It's just ketchup. It <laughs> happens no, it's so much. It does, which is weird. I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're gonna be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? You got me. I don't know. If she's not <laughs> in there, she's just gone. Somehow. Somehow. They're not my words, pal. Then who was it? Who said it? Mr. Godot. Yeah, whatever. Godot? What did he mean by that? About that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal. I'm busting a gut here trying to find the murder weapon. And all I find is some burnt up old letter. 
Wait, I want to see that! Burnt up old letter? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the inner temple. That's important! The incinerator? I knew it! I knew I wasn't imagining it! It was used. There was snow on the incinerator when I first saw it. But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder. Maybe that's also why there's like the patch gone near the lantern. Maybe those two go hand in hand. I don't know. Maybe. Also, how did the letter not get completely just burnt to a crisp? It's like, um, parchment paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that doesn't answer the question. Who writes on parchment paper? <laughs> What's up with you, pal? I've got it right here if you want to take a look. C can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. Sweet. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's no relation to this case. Um, we- Spirit mediums! We literally need this! Okay, I want to see this. Burnt letter added to the court record. It's gotta be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. Let's read. Burnt letter found by Gumshoe in the inner check temple the incinerator. Check the check Touch the check button. Be careful. Once night falls, should be there. As soon as you hear the lights out, Belle, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. Oh, no! Her name is... She is our ally. The whole, here is a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. I, oh, this is really long. Once this is burned, the also make, not Riot. tell anyone about this letter. Oh. Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and breathe our, bring our vengeance to fruition. Okay, I have a couple ideas from this. Okay. Um, number one, I'm wondering if they wanted to murder her and then to make sure she's completely murdered, channel Misty Fay. To see mm. if it's the same person. Second, I think Dahlia was like, Hey, you don't remember me, uh, but I'm your twin sister and I'm a psychopath, so you're gonna help me out. So that's so why- So Dahlia's writing the letter? <laughs> you're saying- Yeah, but I think Dahlia comes, dyes her hair, and then that's how they're in two different places at the same time. Okay. Where Iris is like, I was in my room, I swear! And she's like, I saw Dahlia, and then it's like, oh, Dahlia's okay. in this room. So you're, you're kind of seeing uh, how it's all coming sure, together sure. now. Yeah. I mean, once there was the twins thing, I'm like, oh, that's why Iris didn't leave her room, because mm -hmm. she didn't. I better give it a good looking over and some serious thought. Make sure you chuck it out in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime, pal. Otherwise, uh, the letter... Yeah. I don't know who would else would have written it. So, what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the Shichishito that was found impaled in the victim's body. Well, duh. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Well, duh. You should have been there, pal. He was way better than you were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> in which case, it must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around Fire like a headless chicken looking for emblem. now, huh? Emblem. Emblem. <laughs> Are you quite finished? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what else would it be? All I can think of is Binding Blade from Fire Emblem. Binding Blade? You haven't even played that one. But I've heard, but that's the name. Blazing Sword is the Blazing Sword? GBA. That's the one. name of it? In Japan. Oh. It, because I it was the, the GBA it was... one it had like the shield and a sword and an axe on the title. Yeah. Okay. The Japanese name was Blazing Sword or like Sword of Fire or something. Sword of Fire. But because that was the first one localized to America, here it was just called Fire Emblem. Yeah, because that would make the most sense. Yeah, and man, is it tiring work. But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of a forensics in our cap these days. We're using the department's secret weapon on this. <gasps> is it secret missile? Secret weapon? Is it missile? I want to know. What's this secret weapon of yours? You want to know? You've got to think scientifically, okay? Alright. The murder weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? No. Metal I know what he's gonna say, but I'll let him look smart. So what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector. <laughs> this is gonna be important later. Just just you watch. It's gonna be important. They're gonna be like, the metal detector. <laughs> we already did that once before. It'll happen again. Just I bet you. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. Well, you want to give scientific investigation a go? Huh? M me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It gets pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? Great. I don't know. Should I help Detective Gumshoe out or not? <laughs> Boy, for <forensics. laughs> Save her for later. Come on, pal. It's good fun. I'm telling you. No, I, um, I've actually got to be someplace. Oh, really? 
That's too bad. Where we gotta be? I'll just take a break by myself for a while then. I'm gonna get you to do this somehow, pal. <laughs> we'll see. I thought you liked doing field work. Isn't that what you were just singing about? Okay, we gotta do this. <laughs> Come on, pal. In reality, it's just a mini game. It gets good fun, I'm telling you. Welcome to Bone, Bone Stage. stage. <laughs> Alright then, I guess I'll give it a go. Get as many of these as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. We really need to update the department. <laughs> it's so sensitive, you could make it cry. It's so high tech, you could skydive off of it. What? Oh, bother. High tech. Oh. <laughs> so, now I'm gonna tell you how to use it. It's possible the real murder weapon is around here somewhere, right? Buried. Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Right, so first, let's turn the detector on. Beep. That's the sound of the metal detector signal bouncing off of something metallic. Next, touch the detector and take a good look around the courtyard with it, pal. Once you've hit something metallic, the check gauge will flash. And then when that happens, touch the gauge to really give the area a good hard stare. This thing picks up metallic objects that are hidden from sight, too. Take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious, okay, pal? Um, well, he gave us the first one right off the bat. Um, there we go. Is there something up on the eaves? I can't tell from here, pal. Meh, just forget about it. But it's right under Elise Donum's window! And it's the perfect spot for hiding something long and thin like a sword! I'll go take a look! Ah, it was nothing. Thank goodness. Someone just dropped a spoon. Nice. Why are you so happy about that? Well, imagine if the murder weapon had turned up there. It'd make me look pretty dumb, huh? At least he recognizes that much. True. Okay. Oh. It's just a pair of skis. Nothing useful for our case here. I'm actually pretty good on skis, you know, pal. We already- I just love to fly down the slopes with my coat fluttering in the wind. <sighs> Really? I had no idea. How good are you then? Well, I'm better on skis than I am on skates, but not as good as when I'm on a snowboard. That's a pretty detailed answer. Oh, but you know what I'm best at? Making mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> Those don't have anything to do with each other. This guy's losing it. Must be the altitude. We better get back to the investigation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall. What's that? That's odd. This sled's made of plastic. It says bikini number one on the side. <laughs> Maybe there's something under it. Hey, what's this? A, a badge? Aha! I've been hunting high and low for that! It it's yours, detective? That feeds priceless to a guy like me, pal. A cop can't be a cop without his badge. I'm sure glad I put that diamond there now. How did you manage to drop your badge here of all places? I know. I bet it happened this morning. I was playing around with the sled and... <laughs> Stop right there. I don't need to hear anymore. Right. <laughs> Let's check in the lantern. Wait, what? Wait, what? This looks like a wallet? Aha! That's where it's been! <laughs> Gumshoe just Is lost it yours, everything. detective? I'm always dropping it, so I put a bell on it. But you still dropped it anyway. Yeah, but now I found it again, pal. Your wallet is completely empty. Well, I drop it all the time, so don't put money in it anymore. This is like that Zitz comic. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would I put my, like, money in my wallet if I keep losing my wallet? <laughs> <laughs> then how come the metal detector picked it up? Must be because of the bell, I guess. I mean, that's obvious. That Shichishito next to the golden statue wasn't the real murder weapon, pal. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, I know. I just thought I'd check it again anyway. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Do you know what about that sword? It's supposed to represent the multiple branches that life can take, all ending as one. Yes, I heard something about that. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of life I'd be leading if I hadn't joined the Homicide the Division? You think about that kind of stuff, Detective? Of course I do! I think about it a lot. Me as a traffic cop, me as a detention officer, me as the Boo Badger. There's something to be said about the humor value of Gumshoe as the Boo Badger. As the Boo Badger. The Boo Badger. Like Boo yeah. Bailey. Okay, what's that? Looks like there's something round buried in the ground here. Don't touch that, pal! Huh? What is it? It's a trap! People set them out to catch us detectives. They're real nasty. A trap? For detectives? You mean like those fierce traps with the sharp, sharp teeth that are supposed to snag your leg? Yeah! Those! I got my finger caught in one of those once. Y your finger? There was this bit of cheese and it looked so tasty. <laughs> I reached out and then BAM! 
I'm not sure I know how to respond to a story as stupidly pitiful as that. So, it's not- There we go. Okay. Hey, I found a dollar coin. Huh? M money If you have money, you have to turn it into the police, or a detective. If the owner doesn't come forward within six months, we get to keep 10%. The other 90% goes to- I mean, to the police department. <laughs> D don't get so close to me, detective. Give me some space, will you? Here's the coin. Happy? I definitely made the right decision becoming a detective. <laughs> Yikes, talk about a serious case of denial. Yeah. This is Miss Donum's staff, isn't it? Doesn't it just- Do you like, push something that's just like, And like turns into a sword? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector is reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, the thing's made of wood, alright? I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. Isn't the whole point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? It's weird that this thing is causing a racket. Here, let me take a look at it. Hey! Hands off! Examining evidence is for a job for the- Back! The top is coming off! Look what you've done! You've damaged a really important piece of evidence! Ah! It is a sword! The- that's a- a- a sword. Inside the staff. Is this... could it be? The murder weapon? There's no blood on it, though. They could have wiped it off. There's a river right here. <laughs> Not like right right here, though. No, but I mean... Besides, it's a strong current. Do you think you could just be like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's the dock at Heavenly Hall. You could just dip it in. Yeah, but do you think Larry would have not noticed? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was just stupid and didn't. Maybe. It took me five minutes to leave. <laughs> I'd never have guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. They call this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. This one's a real gem. The workmanship is really something else. Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword. Or else the victim would have stabbed her own foot. I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. <laughs> if the real scene of the crime was the inner temple garden... Then why was the sword used to kill the victim f uh, found in the main hall courtyard? Where did Francisca go? Did she's, she she's still with the trick locks. Oh yeah, virus. that's right. I, I forgot. Hey, Gumshoe, who knows about the hidden sword? No one. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. You mean I discovered well, it? Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. It doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. Then I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? No, no, no! Like, I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Yeah, of course! This means definitely the murder weapon. Wow. Great job, pal. It's about the same length as the Shijishido, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run over to the forensics. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if most of it has been wiped off. True. See you later, pal. Bye. See- Every case is gonna be airtight. Every little case is going to be airtight. I heard this music and I was like, wait a minute, is Gant here? Gant? <laughs> wait, who else would it be? Victor Kudo. That's the Victor Kudo music. Oh. Gant has the dun, Gant. dun, 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 Yeah, dun, dun, dun. it's been so long. Wait up, detective. Huh? What is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know. You're going to get that staff analyzed, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about, pal? Please! Just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Yeah, if she's murdered, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. Y you don't think... Maya's been mur- Please, detective! Just let's wait until we get inside the sacred cavern. You're looking kind of Viridian there. <laughs> okay, okay. J just stop it with that face, pal. One thing, though. This staff's secret trick, let's keep it between you and me, alright? That's fine. If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, we're finished. Yeah, that's true. I understand. That would be like a prosecutor. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shots fired. This is just a regular run-of-the-mill staff. You got it? I thought it said none-of-the-mill staff. I was like, oh, none of the mill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you take good care of it, pal. Thank you, detective. Don't worry. She'll be fine. Gumshoe. You know, 
There's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. How about I take you there when we find Maya, huh, pal? Sure, thanks. I know it's good. Edgeworth took me there earlier. To <laughs> extra all now, all that I have now is that stupid avatar. It's on the island. None of you, none of your business. <laughs> thing I know, but now That's I've got bad. all these dumb puns. I stuck can't in my help head. but wonder though, what was Elise Donum doing with a staff like this in the first place? She probably was like. Somebody wants to murder my- I'm going to murder them first. <laughs> and then she died. And then she died. She's like, oh, didn't win that Spot one. twist, I was going to murder my- <laughs> <laughs> I killed Mufasa. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. I mean, maybe. She she left for 17 years. Wait, we're not going to Heavenly? Heavenly? Nope. nope. Okay. Oh, hey, Edgeworth. Because remember, we now have information about, uh- but what do we have to- Oh, yeah. About her. How he, yeah. Her father is a jeweler. Hey, Edgeworth, did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? <laughs> a, a twin? <laughs> you can't be serious. That's the stupidest plot twist I've <laughs> <Yeah>. ever heard. <laughs> sister Bikini told me, but the problem is she didn't know the name of this twin. I actually think that's a good plot twist. I just was making fun of Marty's reaction. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I think it's- I think it's just so, like- we need a good plot twist. How can we make one? And then they're like, let's do this cliche. Eh. I don't know. I, they, I think it they, was fine. I've seen a few things, at least, where they've done that. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files, I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by her father. A jeweler, I think. A jeweler? Right, I... I might just know who this twin sister of hers we've is. We've already <laughs> known ever since we've heard! We're just getting confirmation, basically. I had a feeling you'd say that. Let me guess. This freak. Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Yeah, I'm the complete psychopath. Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. We, we know everything about Dahlia. She's terrible. She <laughs> murdered many people. She had, like, eight boyfriends. Eight boyfriends, who some of them she murdered. Um, murdered <laughs> the others she divorced. The others... <laughs> you don't divorce a boyfriend. You break up. <laughs> I was, I just fought Henry VIII. Divorced, beheaded. Like, oh, yeah, that, that whole <laughs> thing, beheaded, yeah. divorced. Or, I can't remember. No, divorced, beheaded. Beheaded, divorced, beheaded. Uh, divorced, divorced, beheaded, childbirth, childbirth, childbirth death. Divorced, beheaded, beheaded alive, alive at the end. Until death. Last one standing. It was my first court case 60 years ago. I was a greenhorn, and due to my inexperience, the defendant died. That wasn't your inexperience. That, that was, was Dahlia being a That was Dahlia being, yeah. You're talking about Terry Falls, right? You, you know about that case? You're not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yeah, we, we all know. We know. We're yes. Not dumb. Dahlia was a key witness in that case. More like the culprit. More like the complete dummy. Dahlia and Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. They stole a jewel worth $2 million, million dollars from Dahlia's father, a jeweler. And five years after that... We had a whole lot of other She murdered her stuff. own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. Wait, so she had three sisters. Her sister? Well, her stepsister, okay. actually. They weren't blood related. That would explain a lot, because she doesn't look anything like her. You just said, well, actually, no, the face looks kind of similar once you got, like... <laughs> once she was, like, angry. being super angry and, yeah. yeah. Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. Oh. And this is when she entered my life. The woman who tried to kill me. And many others. And succeeded in many others. And you should have probably died, but she didn't. Well, he he ate the bottle that didn't have the poison in it. It just but used to. But you think there'd be traces. Yeah, but it wasn't enough to kill. And he didn't eat the cold killer X, which is what was poisoned. Yeah. So after Terry Falls died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? There's no need. Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. She absolutely could be! Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. What? Well, 
Her metabolic processes are a matter of interest only to historians, so to speak. What? When'd she die? What do you mean by Dahlia Hawthorne is dead, Edgeworth? She renamed herself again. I only just discovered this right, but I never knew about the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Yeah. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty. Thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. Mm. Mm. Mia Fey! Mia Fey. <laughs> Scary face. <laughs> At the time, Dahlia, it's like she was possessed by a demon or something. Yeah. It's been six years since that guilty verdict was handed down, and her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. Uh, executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead, and once someone is dead, there's no way to revive them. I know exactly what happened. <laughs> Dang it, I know exactly what must have happened. Somebody channeled her. If mm. she's dead. And then they were like, well now I look like Iris. And then they go and do all their things. Well, channels her, dies her, <laughs> and then goes and does everything. This is so st oh. <laughs> There's no way to revive the dead. Hmm, I wonder. This is so simple! It seems you're not aware of one of her connection yet, Edgeworth. And what is that? It's about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay, A spirit medium from a branch family of the Korean channeling technique. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Did you say Karain channeling technique? D do you know something about it? Oh yes. I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Oh yeah! That's <laughs> I forgot about that. I was involved, was in, was involved another in another nightmare, nightmare 17 years ago. I was caught up in the middle of a murder investigation. The police didn't have any leads. And then they used the spirit medium. For they it. were stumped, and that's when they called her in. She was a very famous spirit medium and the master of her channeling this school. This explains why Edgeworth's like, I don't believe in any of this destiny hogwash. <laughs> <laughs> don't put any stock in this destiny, destiny hogwash. hogwash. <laughs> but you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. Was he executed? No, she, he, he wasn't. That's Yanni right. Yogi just had his life Yanni ruined. Yanni Yogi just had his life ruined, yeah. She and her powers, they were all fraudulent. Edgeworth. Go to the police records room. It's all in there. You already know. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file and you'll know, I can't! Von Karma stole it all! <laughs> oh yeah, he did. And then he and then he died. <laughs> he, you know what probably happened? It was like, Edgeworth, or not Edgeworth, Von Karma, you're gonna be executed. He's like, oh! <laughs> just ate the whole ev the, all the evidence. <laughs> I want fan art of that. <laughs> <laughs> he probably just ate it and then he's like, oh, I'm ready to be executed. <laughs> Of course. How could I forget? Von Karma ate it all before he was executed. Edgeworth was the victim in that case. Yeah, poor Edgeworth. Well, one of them. There was like, they were all victims they except Von Karma. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday. And then you'll see that the Korean channeling technique is real. The only one that Von Karma, it was my destiny to kill him. <laughs> and now we get her full profile. She Deceased. was executed. Well, hooray! Yeah, that's a hooray, but it's also like a, oh crap, somebody channeled her. <laughs> Maybe someone channeled her and channeled Morgan Fay. <laughs> Morgan's not dead. She's just in solitary confinement. Oh yeah. I don't think she's going to get executed for being an accomplice to a murder, but you never know. You never know. You never know.